Hi, so in this video, I will show you how we can create this simple page layout in Adobe Intelligent. So let's get started. So first of all, I will create a new document. Simply, I will create a new and from here, simply I am taking page size F4. Okay, and change the unit mm. And here you can give name of the file. Okay, something like this. And uh, keep it as it is and whatever will be needed. Uh, so we will update after creating the page so, okay. so this all thing margin this all thing will get it update will update after creating page okay so just i am going to click on create okay now you can see our new document has been created okay so for taking new page simply you can click on this option so you can see here new page has been created okay now we have to set our margins so for setting our margins similarly you can also set your margins on master page so that it will automatically reflect over all the normal document pages okay so create your master page simply i will click on this master page and you can see here two pages okay left and right so simply keep selected both pages and click for setting up your margin simply you have to click on layout and here you can see the option of margins and column you have to click on this okay now keep preview on so that you can see the live how it's coming effect after changing the margin okay so currently you can see uh, over all the margins of the pages is equal okay 12.7 but you can see here, here it is different margin space. So accordingly, we have to set margins here. So for setting up different margins each side, simply have to keep here and check. Okay. Now you can change the margins individually. Okay. So for instance, you can see here, uh, there are too much uh, space is available on top. Okay. So I have to uh, take margins accordingly. Okay. So just for making you understand, I am taking margins here. Okay. okay so this is something we have set our margins okay so now let's click on okay and we have set margins on our master page and you can see uh, effect on your normal page okay overall the document pages what you will create a hit each and every pages will follow the same margins on which the master a page will be applied okay so this is something margin so now we'll just set page numbers for instance here we have to set page numbers just i'm taking text tool and here i will just click on type and search special character i go on marker and here you have to click on current page number and you can also hit control alt shift plus n okay just click on this here it is coming a because this is a master so that it's coming a but you can see the page number on your normal so just i will set it And this is exactly page number we also want as you can see uh, on left side only i have set the page number okay you can see the page number only left side okay so if you want both sides just i have taken copy by holding alt key now you can see page number has been come on over all the document pages okay something like this now we have to create the title and body text and other things okay so just i am going to create this you can see here how i am doing format it first of all it is our heading simply i will select it Okay, now you can see almost formatting has been done, something like that. And you can also uh, keep it justified, please left line, so keep it justified. Okay, you can see almost formatting has been 
Done. Now you can see here drop cap is coming and here it is indentation. So let's see how we can add drop cap on our first letter and set indentation. First line indent. Okay, simply I will click here and you have to give the numbers of drop cap, how many numbers you want. Okay, so this is our numbers. Okay, and here it is our character, how many character you want to cover. It's okay, I think. So you can see drop cap also has been added and here it is should be first line index okay so you can see almost page has been created and here it is our another page so for creating this Okay, you can formatting your page based on your requirements. So, hope you have cleared a lot of things of what the challenges and problems will come and while formatting a, a page in Adobe InDesign. So, thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more. We graphics.